Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my fall nail polish picks. Um, just kind of the trendy colors that I think are going to be popular for fall. Also different kind of like categories like metallics and chunky glitter and neutrals and just different like categories I have too that I think are um, very trendy for fall 2011 and this has been a super requested video for me to do because um, I have a lot of nail polish girls who are subscribed to me and I have 21 colors to show you guys. Um, I know that's kind of excessive and I'm sorry I'm touching my hair but uh, yeah it's kind of excessive but I couldn't narrow it down. All of these colors are gorgeous so this is pretty much like my recommendations. Hopefully you see a couple colors you haven't um, either heard of before or maybe you don't have them and it inspires you to buy them or you do have some of these colors and you um, find them out of your collection and want to wear them. Just kind of like inspirational, my favorite colors for fall but of course there are no rules when it comes to nail polish. You can do whatever you want. This is just kind of like my um, my top picks I guess um, and also my nails are awful I've had this red color on for like over a week and they're chipping and gross and I was planning on painting my nails one of these colors for this video but of course I wanted to film right away and not sit and paint my nails and wait so after this video I will paint my nails but anyway um, so I'm just gonna quickly get started I'm not gonna go into too much detail on each color just because there are 21 colors um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway and I have swatched them all right here sneak peek I guess um, so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know if you have any of these colors or are inspired to go out and buy any of these colors um, in the comments down below. So I'm going to get started. Okay, the very first one, which is actually the color I'm going to paint my nails right after I film this video, is such a gorgeous color. And okay, I guess the first kind of trend for fall is going to be... Um, like muted grays, gray tones, like beiges. I think it's called, what's that word called? The word where they combine like gray and beige. It's kind of like a nail polish trend. Um, just very muted colors. And so a lot of these colors that I'm going to be showing you right now are very muted earth tones, kind of like fall friendly, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm saying. But this first color is one of my absolute favorites, and it's by China Glaze. By the way, all of these polishes can be found online if you can't find them in stores because some of them have been limited edition or some are just really hard to find. You can find them on like Amazon and stuff like that. So the first one is by China Glaze. Messy bottle, but it's called Sea Spray, and it's just a very pretty muted sea foam, or not sea foam, but like a baby blue, but it's like there's gray in it. I don't know. It's just the prettiest color. I have it swatched right here. I have it swatched right here. So it's just so pretty, and I am definitely going to be wearing this today. So Sea Spray by China Glaze is definitely one of my top picks. Okay, quickly going on to the second color is Recycle by China Glaze. Any kind of gray color is going to look so good for fall. It's definitely a color I don't wear um, any other time of the year, to be honest. It's definitely not a summer color. In the winter, I really don't wear gray, but Recycle by China Glaze is just a true um, gray color. So yeah, right there very very pretty and I like it a lot the next color um, is kind of similar to that one but a little bit different and it's by Essie and it's called chinchilla I'll have the names of every color in case you can't understand me written down below in the description box by the way um, but it's called chinchilla it's really really pretty it just has a little bit more of a taupe color than recycle so you can see it's a little more brown I guess than a true um, gray so that's chinchilla. I love that color. The next one is Jazz, which is one of my favorite nude colors. And nude polish is pretty trendy all year round, I think. But this one is just one of my favorite nudes. And it's by Essie, and it's called Jazz. I already said that. Um, and it's right here. So just really pretty, um, you know, taupe or nude for fall is always trendy. And then the next one I have is called Barefoot in Barcelona, which is one of my all-time favorite nude shades. Very, very opaque. Um, almost opaque in one coat by OPI. And it is right here. So definitely more of like a chocolatey nude brown. It's just so pretty. Okay, the next one is by Essie and it's called Island Hopping. It's kind of more of a mauve color, but still in that like very muted clay not clay, but you guys know what I'm saying. It's so hard to think of like so many words to describe these polishes, but mauve toned down, neutral, um, all these kind of colors are just really nice for fall. So that is Island Topping. Kind of looks burgundy. It's not though, I promise. Weird. Okay, the next one that I love um, is Parley View OPI. It was from, a, I think, the French collection a long time ago. One of my all-time favorite OPI shades. It's like a gray-purple. It's just such a pretty color, and I like it a lot. I don't know why that wasn't focusing, um, but it is right here. Seriously, highly recommend this color. So, so pretty. Is it even showing those right? I hope so. 
Okay, moving on since I have so many polishes. The next one is called Merino Cool by Essie. Um, just like a brown, taupey color. doesn't look that special on camera, so I'm going to try and do this quickly. But here it is compared to Parlay Vua P.I. Kind of similar, but this one is obviously purple. The next one, which is, I think, a cult favorite. I don't even know. You don't know Jacques, or you don't know Jax, but I know it's Jacques, but I always say Jax. By OPI, just like a brown, muted, darker tone neutral, which is right here. So you can tell it's definitely darker. Okay, the next tr uh, fall trend, which is really big, is metallic polishes. I've read in like a ton of magazines, metallic polishes is like, you have to wear it for um, fall. So I only picked out two, which are like my two favorite, I guess. The first one is by China Glaze. It's called Swing Baby. It's a really, really pretty kind of like golden silver because it has little silver flecks in it, as you can tell. And it's just a really pretty metallic polish. It's right here. And it has like the, just enough, a little bit of sparkle in it that makes it kind of more unique than just a typical um, like foily metallic polish. Okay, the next one I have, where is it? The next one I have is by OPI, and it's called They Certainly Look Marvelous, which again has those little flecks of glitter in it. It just kind of makes it um, look a little bit more special than a typical, just plain metallic polish, I think. Such a pretty color. Highly recommend this one as well. Just looks so pretty on your nails, so it's right here. Next to Swing Baby. Very, very pretty, definitely great fall polishes. The next color is one of my all-time favorites um, from OPI, and it's a new color of theirs. And I've talked about it in my last favorites video, I think. And it is called Swimsuit Nailed It. Swimsuit Nailed It. It's a blue that literally looks like it's glowing. And this is in the, my category called Jewel Tones. I forgot to say that. Besides metallics, Jewel Tones are always big for fall, like emerald greens. And just if you think of like Jewel Tones, like sapphires, rubies, those kind of colors are just really pretty on your nails for fall time. This is one of my favorite OPI colors, like I just said. So pretty. Um, I know a lot of you guys have emailed me asking where to get that. I don't think it's in stores anymore. It's right here. It literally looks like your nails glow when you wear that color. So pretty. Um, but you can find it on Amazon and probably eBay and stuff like that, but I don't think it's in stores anymore, so that kind of sucks. Um, another color, which is one of my all other favorite blues, is called um, You Got to Get This Blue by OPI. It's another jewel toned blue, but a lot, of, a lot darker, which I love wearing a lot of dark polishes in fall, so this is a great color. My all-time favorite blue by OPI, just like a classic blue, and it's there's like a bug, like a fruit fly or something. Anyway, um, that's what it looks like, so very jewel toned, very pretty. Um, just looks really pretty on the nails. So love that color. The next one is green going into, you know, emeralds, I guess. Um, it's called Cuckoo for this color. It's a really, really pretty emerald green. Um, I just really, really like this color a lot. So I will show you this swatch of that. It's very rich and that's why I like it. Very pretty color. The next one is by NARS and it's called Zulu. It's kind of hard to tell in the bottle, but it is green. It's a very, very deep, deep green. And if you're a nail polish fanatic, like hardcore, you might know the story behind NARS Zulu. It's a very sought after, very cult, huge cult following, and it's just a gorgeous color. So this is how it looks. It definitely leans toward looking black on your nail, but it still has enough green to where it doesn't look like you have black nail polish on. So that's always a good thing because I hate wearing polish that looks black when it's supposed to be blue or something, you know? That's one of my huge pet peeves when it comes to nail polish. Um, okay, the next category I'm going to say is chunky glitter. Glitter has kind of been in and out throughout the last year, but in all my magazines and just kind of searching, like, ideas for this video and making sure I'm on trend and not just making stuff up in my head, um, chunky glitter polish is definitely going to be huge for for fall and my favorite chunky glitter polishes right now are actually from the drugstore all three of them which is great because they're more affordable and easily you know very easy to find so the very first one is by milani and it's called gems and it's a very chunky glitter this is how it looks and this was i think around four dollars at walgreens so it's super pretty and by the way all these polishes were two coats i totally forgot to say that so this is gems by milani and that is two coats you could obviously do a third one to make it completely um, opaque, but it's just super, super pretty. The next one, which was only $2, I think, or $1.99 at the drugstore, is by Wet n Wild, and I've talked about this polish before. It is called Party of Five Glitters, I believe. Party of Five Glitters, yeah. And it's just a little bit different than the other one. It has more circle glitters as opposed to just like random, um, random flex, I guess. Actually, you get a lot more glitter per coat than this one. This is more like a topper, but still looks really pretty on its own 
hope you guys can see those glitters. Okay, the third one is another drugstore pick, and I absolutely love this color. It's by Sally Hansen Extreme Nails, and it's called Rockstar Pink. And normally you wouldn't think like hot pink for fall, but this is just so glittery and so pretty. It's really hard to resist like how glittery it is. And I think this was $2. It's just one of the prettiest drugstore polishes that I've found. And I don't like to spend a lot when I'm buying drugstore polish. If I'm buying a polish at the drugstore, it better be around $2. Oh, it looks. I just think it's a really pretty affordable glitter polish that pretty much gives the same look as, you know, OPI glitters and stuff like that. So this is my swatch wheel. I hope you guys like these colors. I think they're perfect for fall, very on trend in all those different kind of fall categories. So um, I hope that you liked these colors. I will um, try and take photos of the swatch wheel just so you can see the colors a little bit better for my blog, polishandpearls.com. But I think you guys pretty much get the same idea, or get the idea. But I have three other polishes because if you didn't notice, that was 18 polishes. And I have three more that I just wouldn't fit on the swatch wheel and don't really need to be swatched, I don't think. But another fall color that I love is obviously red nail polish. And my all-time favorite red would probably, probably be OPI's Big Apple Red because it's the most true, real red color that there is. And I love bright red for fall. You can also do like the deep reds and the burgundies and stuff, but I, I just love the look of a bright red nail polish. Um, and the one I'm wearing is actually this one right now, and it's called Vodka and Caviar. It's another favorite OPI red, so I just had to throw this in there and say definitely rock bright red nails for fall. It's classic, and I just love it. The other two I wanted to mention were Glitters by OPI because... All those neutral colors that I showed you guys, I love to do glitter accent nails when I wear these kind of neutral colors. And I'll usually just do glitter or something on my ring finger. I think it just makes it look special or something. And so my two favorite glitters with neutral polishes is OPI Bring on the Bling, which is another, which is kind of like a gold tone, but it has all of these multicolors in it. So it kind of matches any neutral that you pair it with because there's so many different colors, but at the same time, it's neutral. So yeah, I love Bring on the Bling. And then another one that I love is by OPI and it's called Spark D Triumph which was limited edition I think but looks great over any um, like neutral color so I will have all of the names and brands listed down below I know this video is getting pretty long so I want to kind of wrap it up but I hope you like the colors that I chose this was super requested and I just hope that I did a good job because I, I get a lot of pressure you guys ask me nail polish questions and I get tw Twitter questions all about nail polish and shaping my nails and just literally like every question um that has to do with nails I get like an overwhelming amount of emails and questions and stuff just to do with nails in gen general because I have such a passion for nails so I feel like a lot of pressure when I do nail related videos and I hope that I am doing a sufficient job and that you like these colors and it wasn't boring and maybe you I'm hoping that you um, saw colors that you haven't heard of before because I know it's a lot of people will do the same colors over and over because there's only so many nail polish colors out there, right? But I hope you enjoyed this video and it was um, good enough for you guys. I don't know. Um, yeah, so those were my fall 2011 nail polish picks and kind of trends and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you liked it in the comments below. And I will have another video up very shortly, hopefully tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out polishandpearls.com, which is my blog, my blog, and my Facebook and Twitter. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.